All right. A, a while ago, I did a video on this uh, on this circuit, and it is a, a, a LO divider. So you bring in a high frequency and it divides it by two and sends it out. And the input is protected by a filter, so uh, it only selects one particular filter of uh, frequency coming in. And then the output also has a filter, so it allows only one frequency coming out. And that gets rid of a lot of harmonics and stuff. So it's a smart thing to do in a design. Now, when I received this thing, I had no data on it, so I didn't know what frequencies these things operated at. And I kind of did, by a trial and error, I sort of finally figured it out. But a, a viewer commented a really, really good idea, and I wanted to make a video on that because it, it might help somebody out in the future. So, uh, if you don't know what a filter is, but you do have access to the outside world, when a filter passes its information, it looks like there's no return. And when a filter blocks that frequency, you get a return path. Well, that looks like an antenna, right? It's resonant or, you know, it it has a particular uh, return loss and you get a lot of return where it's not in band and no return where it is in band. He says, well, just hook it up to a VNA and it'll tell you right away what that, uh, what that filter is. So let's do that. So I've already calibrated my machine here. I'm sweeping between uh, 300 kilohertz and 1.3 megahertz, gigahertz. Let me attach the uh, VNA to the input filter, and there we go. We got a we get a really good uh, match here at a particular frequency. It's down by 6 dB, so we get a 6 dB. Uh, attenuation at that frequency. So that's going to be our filter frequency. And we can just turn on a marker and then we can do a marker search to the minimum. And it says uh, that filter is adjusted to 1.012 gigahertz. So, and that's sort of what I found haphazardly, but that gives me a real accurate number what that filter is, is adjusted to. And we can uh, look, at a, look at the uh, so that was the input filter, the little one. And you know this one's little and this one's big, so this is going to be a lower frequency. But let's go ahead and hook up the other one. And that one's not very good information because that's going through the... Uh, that's going through the coupler, okay? We want the direct path which will give us a more direct line to the to the other filter instead of going through that uh, through the coupler. So let's try the other port. Oh, and there we go. We're getting a good look at the filter in the, on this port and we can see that that's our filter there. So again, we can do a uh, marker search for the minimum and it's around 499. So yeah, thing was designed for about one gigahertz in 500 megahertz out and we can see it really quickly here uh, on, the, on the VNA, and that would have saved me a whole lot of time and grief. And uh, I will remember that for next time. So thank you, viewer. Uh, I love it when you guys teach me stuff. So there we go. We just uh, take a look into a black box system. <laughs> and we look at uh, S11 in that direction, and we look at S11 in that direction, and it tells us what's going on. Good idea.